Here is a very interesting question relating probability of compound events and the Venn diagram. So data is given to you in the form of a Venn diagram, which is shown here on the right side, right? So these three circles, they give you number of students for each subject. So we have maths and we have the number 20 here, music 24, English 23. So these students have taken only maths, English or music. And when we write a number in between, these numbers are common. So for example, five is number of students which are common for maths and English. And number two here is common for maths, music and English, all three of them, right? So like this, you have to read and understand these numbers and make out their meaning, okay? Six, for example, is number of students who have taken music and English, correct? And the number of outside is there are 40 other students who haven't taken either of these three subjects. So that is how you need to understand the Venn diagram, correct? Now let's understand the question. It says, subjects taken by the grade 9 students of a school are shown in the Venn diagram, right? How many students are in this class? So this is the first question. So you have to write how many students are there in this class. Now the second question is, how many students have maths, right? Third is, if a student is randomly chosen, what is the probability that the student has math or English, okay? And question number four is, if a student is randomly chosen, what is the probability that the student has math and music? So I'm emphasizing on these words and and or since they relate to plus or product, right? So at this stage, I'd like you to pause the video, go through the question, copy it, answer it, and then look into my suggestions, correct? That is the best thing to do at this moment. Now, here are my suggestions. Now, as I explained you, first, let us understand the Venn diagram. And we'll understand it while answering all these questions. First one is, how many students are in this class? So in that case, what we can do is, we can add all these numbers which are figuring out, right? So we have to add 20 plus, so let me write these numbers here. So let me write them here. So we got 20, then we have 5 to 4. Let me write 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 4 is 11. Let me write 11 here. Then we have 24 plus 6, let me write 30 here, and then 23. So add these numbers, that is the first step. So 10 and 1 here, so you get 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we get 90. So always to check your answer. So you got 20 plus 5 is 25, 26, 27, 31, 31 plus 30 is 61, 61 plus 23. So I'm not getting the same numbers, right? 61 plus 23 is 83 plus 40 I have to add further. So let me use a calculator. So what we can do is we can use calculator to check our answer. Something is wrong there. So it is 20 plus 4 plus 2 plus 5 plus 6 plus 24 plus 23 and then we'll add 40, right? And then we'll add 40, we get 124. So there was something wrong. So, well, in any case, we will just forget about this for the moment. So, or we can rewrite it. So we have 20, let's do it again, okay? So we have 20 here, and then we have 4, 2, 5, so 4, 2, 5, and then 24, 6, 23. 24, 6, 23, and then we have 40 here. So the idea is you have all these numbers, add them up, right? So when you add them up, I think you get 124, but let's check it again. 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 5 is 11, 11 and this is 10, 21, 21 plus 3 is 24, so we get 4 here, 2, 2 and 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 4, 12, so 124 is correct. So how many students are there in this class? There are 124 students, so this is what you get, 124, correct? Now how many students have math? So when you are talking about math, then let's look into this circle. So this is the whole circle of students with math. 
So it is 20 plus 4 plus 2 plus 5. That is the total number of students, correct? So we have 5 plus 2, 7 and 4, 11 and 20, 31. So it is basically 20 plus 4 plus 2 plus 5, right? So we get 24, 6, 31. So that is the number of students who have taken math, right? Now, if a student is randomly chosen, what is the probability that the student has math or English? Math or English means we have to add them up, right? So we can add all these students which are here in the math plus here in English and we have to take away what is common. Do you see that? So that is what is meant for math or English. That means the event is mutually not exclusive, right? Because we have something common here, right? Now, the beauty is that since the numbers are given to us, we need not count them twice. What we can do is we can just count them once, right? That is what you can do. it. Right? So, so if you would have written English first and then maths, and then we would have counted these two are common between maths and English, seven, we should have directed those. But in this case, what we will do is, we know 31 is for mass for that circle. So we are not counting 5 and 2 again, right? We'll just count 31, 6 and 23, right? So 31 plus 6 gives us 37, and 37 plus 23. So let me write here before, this is my work, rough work, right? So we'll have 31 plus 23 plus 6, right? So which is 10 and 1 there, 60, right? So if a student is randomly chosen, what is the probability that the student has math or English? So it is 60 out of total of 124. So we can write this as 60 over 124, correct? You can always simplify and then write your answer in simplified form. So it becomes easier when we are reading the numbers from the Venn diagram, right? If we were given this question like there are... 31 math students and let me count how many English students are there. English students are 23 plus 6, 29, 31, 36. So, so we didn't ask for that. But in any case, if we do just English, then how many are there? So 23 plus 5, 28, 30 and 1, 36, right? So 36 are students who have taken English. Now, the other way of getting this number was that you add these two probabilities and take away 7. Do you see that? So add these two, which is 31 for math, and 36 for English, and then you take away what is common between them. Common between them is 7, right? So you could do 31 plus 36 minus 7 to get your answer, which was 60 again, right? So that also gives you 60. So as a reminder, let me just show you here that work. Which, what I'm trying to say is you should do 31 plus 36 minus 7. 7 is common, right? But since the data is so clear, why should we count it twice, right? So we can count straight and write answer as 60 over 124. Now the next one is, if a student is randomly chosen, what is the probability that the student has math and music? Math and music means common to both, right? So from a Venn diagram, we can see what is common to math and English. Common is this 4 plus 2, 6, right? And so we get our answer as, in this case, 6 over total number of students, which is 124, right? Of course, you're going to divide them and write in simplified form. So you can divide by 3, I mean 2. You get 3 over 62, right? As the answer for that one, right? So that is how you could answer these questions. The alternate way of getting this answer was... Let me say, if a student is randomly chosen, what is the probability that the student has math and music, right? And means a multiplication operation. So probability will be, we have to take what is math, right? And then what is music and then multiply them together. Now in this case of Venn diagram, the beauty is that you can actually see which are common numbers, right? Since you know that 4 and 2 is common, you need not, you should not, get into that complication, correct? Just see the numbers. So common between math and music is this group, right? And what is there in this group? 4 plus 2, 6. So that is how we will write, right? So the beauty here is, when we are given Venn diagram, you just count the numbers where they are 
and just add up the relevant ones and get your answer correct that is how you should be doing compound probability questions using Venn diagrams and at times let me now tell you this was a very simplified example where kind of solution is given to you but it could be we can actually give you a word problem saying that there are I mean 31 math students and uh, 36 English students and out of which so many students have taken math and English so many students have taken math and music and so many students have taken all three subjects correct and then figure out the probabilities in that case we will use the knowledge which you've learned about uh, pro compound probability questions correct because then you have to figure out or the alternate is from the statement make a Venn diagram and then get your results so these are two three two three different options which you should be exploring okay so I'll suggest that take more help in these kinds of questions from different books because I don't have many questions uh, nor do I intend to put many questions on internet so look for more questions but I think this particular example helps you a lot thank you and all the best